Hi, John here. Today is Monday, the 11th of July 2016. To date, we are at a point of Barrister Shannon Withers acting for me in a police case, Natalie Flower Du Brown, Detective. CIB uh, versus me. I want to clear the matter up online. I'm conducting these court hearings from this flag of jurisdiction online. So all my statements I make, including affidavits and sworn statements on YouTube is evidence for presenting to any court in Britain and here in New Zealand, particularly the district courts where we are presenting our case to barrister <coughs> to settle out of court because it's complex and filled with serious crimes committed on the part of the police. I'm accusing people in the police department of administering hearings in court without any legal basis from any lawyer or barrister representing the police. They are doing this on their own. I must make that clear that they have violated and broken New Zealand Crimes Act themselves on me and my legal name, which is in capitals and lowercase, and my natural name, which is all in lowercase, writing, language, legalese, and the forged documents to arrest me. So these are serious allegations I make against one Natalie Flower Du Brown herself breaking the law. She has come in as a third party on the Cook Street case where I warned them time and time again at the police station, Auckland Central Police Station, not to come in as a third party in a two-party contract under this flag of jurisdiction and admiralty law. Now, because it's admiralty law of the sea that's applied to mortgages and land and banking instruments, the police have tampered with those instruments, which are basically lawyers' jobs. They have acted in the capacity of lawyer when they're not lawyers or qualified to do what they did to me. There are ser serious consequences on the part of police and their ministers, Judith Collins and the Minister of Justice, Amy Adams, take responsibility, full responsibility and liability. And also the Governor-General, Jerry Matsupurai, and John Key equally as liable as Prime Minister in this case. I'm saying it involves more than just the police, the government, it involves the British military and British government, Westminster Parliament, our partners that gave us this flag from King William IV. It is a contract of such dimensions and scope as to say it is the crown that who we are operating from this King's Bench Court in Waitangi Marae as authenticated by this flag for what we're doing with Cook Street, seizing it or confiscating it to defray the costs of injury to my person and my chief's persons. 
and the citizens of New Zealand for defrauding them as well as us. So I want to make this point quite clear. Today on this video is a video is 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 an affidavit, another affidavit where I'm swearing to tell the truth, but nothing but the truth. So help me God, what I'm saying in statements is the truth. Against those who are alleged are criminal in private contract in their own interests and in financial investments ahead of the interests and financial interests of the citizens of New Zealand and us, the chiefs, the landowners of this country, New Zealand, Pacific Islands. So, I'm going to ring Shannon shortly, um, but I'm just giving an overview of why I am repeating myself over and over again on Cook Street since 2008, when this racket started. With Doug Ricard Bell selling the property that was not clear or bad title. It continued to be a bad title all the way through and those people, the police, got involved in helping the fraud landowners and their advancing lawyers to stop me seizing the property back, back into our native title from their fraudulent title transfer. They broke the Land Transaction, Land, Tra Land, Land Act 1952, Land Act. They broke those laws and you'll see it in the documents I put online. The Land Transfer Act 1952 and 1952A, 45A, they broke those laws with they were supposed to put our name on the title, but they didn't. They failed to put our names on the title, in particular, the Manukau names of the chiefs. Okay, so that's where that title has gone wrong. And the Land Transfer, Land Information New Zealand Company failed in its duty to put our name on the register on the certificate of title. So now we take it off them legally through Shannon Willis and Rock and Chambers lawyers and barristers. So now I'm gonna ring Shannon up and hopefully I'll get him. I want to get an appointment with him because last Wednesday he was gonna ring me up. But Obviously, he's busy. So I'll try now to get him. Here we go. Hi, um, uh, Shannon, it's John Wanoa here. I'll ring the office to see if I can get an appointment to come and see you uh, tomorrow, if possible. And um, I'll leave it at that for the meantime. If you've got time, can you call me, please? Thank you very much. Bye. There, I've left him a message. I'll ring his office to see if I can get a appointment to see him uh, in town. Here we go.
Yes, Victoria, it's John One or here speaking. Hi, is um, am I able to speak to Shannon? Yeah. Yeah, I tried, but it's um, uh, it's busy. He was going to ring me back last Wednesday, but uh, is it possible to make appointment to see him, or it's better to talk to him direct? Yes, please. Oh, whenever it's convenient for him. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. This one that's on my phone should be showing up on your... Yeah, there's another one there, 0272813963 as well. So one or the other will get me. 0272813963. That was always the, the, the most used one. Thank you. Hi. There we go. That's the office. I sent him an email and I'm hoping he will call me. I'm doing this in the interest of Vulcan Chambers because I'm trying to work with them in the system straight to Britain. And why I'm doing what I'm doing to record what I say. It's very important to get confidence in the lawyers and barristers in this country, in New Zealand, and also to link into the new Britain. I'm here representing the native of New Zealand, straight to Britain, under this flag of Admiralty, Court Martial Law, which is very important as a proper forum to deal with the British military, our protectorate, that's our protectorate, always been on this title that I'm standing up with, this flag with the Chiefs of Napoli and the Confederation of Chiefs, which I'm a legal advocate for, one of them, and work inside the Confederation itself from a hapu native point of view. Not bending any rules, I'm following. The Crimes Act 1961 against what happened to me in my court case, arresting me as the King's surrogate, authorised chief, sheriff at Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. Now, I've said enough about that. I only want to reiterate this affidavit video as proof of claim that we are what and who we say we are, the landlords of this country with clear title. John Key has a problem with his status in the EU Parliament as a conflict of interest with us as native in the British government where he's gone to and skipped right across the face of us to make a trade deal with Britain, UK, the new UK British government. If they make a deal with him from straight from Britain, it conflicts with this flag of jurisdiction over what he does. We have opened up the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court legally to authorise this flag the pound note, and our ex of Westminster Parliament, 1830 to 1837, it's legal now for us to use those acts on any pirates or anyone who tampers with our legal information and our claim to what we confiscate back into our ownership. Okay, so that's what I wanted to clear up with um, the police here are liable. Every single person in this country and right through the Commonwealth is now liable since Pope Francis destroyed his laws uh, 
these trusts and corporations. UCC law, Admiralty law, Canon law, Courier law, Civil law. He's destroyed all of that in the bank laws for anybody to use against us. You can use it on someone else, but not against us. We can apply now the direct admiralty, not vice admiral. That's what John Key has. Vice admiral, lower authority than an admiral and a king's surrogate. We apply those laws as of now. Our business is open from Waitangi Marae to start the process of recovering debt owed from offences that we have proven beyond a doubt is unrebutted or failed by default to respond to our affidavits. The matters are closed on Cook Street. The matters at an end. It has long gone unresolved to rebut our affidavits and now we are giving this video on top of other videos, there's 905 of them, any of that as evidence, solid evidence against any claim against our accusations against each single person named as legal persons or natural persons or alien persons or something else persons now liable. So John Key, because you've gone to England and it's not the same England you've been dealing with in the past, your Queen and her contract with you, the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi, is now liable and its business is liable. Your business inside the Waitangi Marae on the treaty grounds, Waitangi National Trust is now liable. That's a private company for your own private interests against the interests of the Hapu chiefs of our tribes under this flag of jurisdiction. We've made this now a usable instrument for the purpose of confiscating lands to defray all costs of injury against our legal persons and natural persons. I've had a meeting this morning with one Kahanunu Hapu leader who has come here and I've expressed that to him to take that to his 66,000 membership strong Hapu to own what I'm saying as title. It also encompasses New Zealand people citizens who have problems with John Key's government and the alienation of land and resources without their consent. This is the people I'm talking about in the common law court. We're talking about a King's Bench Court of Common Law. That is our right and the Admiralty Law. We have the authority to enforce like we did on the 15th of March 2016, enforce all the Admiralty Law to recover lands right through the Commonwealth and with the British military assisting us under this black strip around the Red Cross of Westminster Parliament. This is the Vatican, the Red Cross, and this one here is Westminster Parliament with the British military, our partners. They are our partners in this contract private contract deal, nobody's business. Shannon, this one for you. It's no one's business but our own authority to administer our own business. Trading flag, bank, business, right through the world. Okay, so we're going to leave you to run your government with reduced powers and with levy debtor instruments on your head. Each one of you has one trillion pounds bounty on your heads. Each person who has violated our laws right through these years, backdated to 1830, 
1837 King William IV period from then on right till now. I'm saying your Treaty of Waitangi 1840 document of title is fraud because it has no end date on its contract. That's illegal and so everything else that's been derived from that is now seized off the Queen's Bench Court back into the King's Bench Court because of that. Because of that. And all the treaty claims that have been lodged with your government, John Key, Prime Minister, New Zealand, are forfeited because of your contract on our land is fraudulent document because of no end date to show when your lease on the lands and occupation of lands is terminated. We had our meeting inside that Waitangi Marae with Kingi, the chief, to terminate your occupation on these lands. We are starting the process of recovering the land and property and assets of those we accuse of being operating Crown Corporation private businesses against the national interests of citizens of New Zealand and the Hapu chiefs to forfeit as a consequence of the fraud crimes under your own acts, the Crimes Act 1961, broken by those people we accuse. Shadow, I'm saying to every person in this country, over four and a half million, that if you're found to be fraudulent, you have a trillion pound note straight on your head. And whatever the sheriffs recover from you, the balance is against the Queen of the 970 million trillion trillion pound note against the Rothschild banks, the Church and State, the Pope and the Vatican City, the United States of America, private company, and the Federal State of America, private company. All those private companies, City of London, private company, Bank of England, private company, Rothschild banks, private companies, and Queen's Elizabeth Company, Queen Elizabeth II, private company, Buckingham Palace, private company, Washington DC, private company, her companies, and other companies that are private companies of Crown Corporations, trusts. All the trusts and corporations that are out there and the ones that have been shut down and the fictitious ones that are not there when they're supposed to be there are now getting the bell of 970 million trillion trillion pound note divided amongst them. So, John Key, it's not out of order to bill, debtor, levy, charge every single person who is violating with you your own laws in New Zealand. Okay, so that's the warning to you and to the Pope Pope Francis, this one's for you. I warned you that this video and all the other videos that I'm making accusing you of fraud, deception and inciting war and setting up terrorism right through the world with Obama and Hillary Clinton and the ISIS and the Mafia and also the Muslims that are terrorizing Americans and also right through the world from America under the Queen's control and admiralty because the martial law in America comes from a king or a queen. The queen didn't make it. It was this king that made the martial law. We're going to seize off you. Shannon, I want you to draw up the papers to seize all of that back. That power of best rank and admiralty if they can't prove who they got off 
I want you to find who they got their authority from. They used the martial law in America and strip it from them. Okay, so that's what I'm saying with the Pope. Your Agenda 21 law and your New World Order is forbidden in any Commonwealth country, state, while we're in partnership with the British government and British military. It is an offence for you to step on any of those countries within our realms of the King's Bench Court of Waitangi Marae and the Chiefs and me, the Sheriff of that court, and also the British UK Parliament with the new government in place with Wales, England and Aotea New Zealand as the other country and the Pacific Islands as one country to be with Wales and England as the third state of the new British UK government parliament in England. Okay, so we're getting that authority in this flag with the British flag at Waitangi, those two flags as being paramount and the emperor of all king of kings. Mortgage, document, land, levy, debtor, instruments, pound, note. We legalise this, Shannon, to you, the barrister, to um, transcribe that, all of that into law on your King's, Queen's Bench Court, from our King's Bench Court. We're going to liven up in the Auckland District Court. I want you to set up that court with me to open one courthouse for the King's Bench Court. I have been nominated this position of Sheriff and Legal Advocate to represent the Napui Chiefs and their Head Chief, King Itauroa. He is a king in his own right, King Edward, under Queen Victoria title to the Queen Victoria Trust and his king powers of determination and authority on his land in Waitangi. We are seizing. I'm seizing his land through this flag of King William IV commercial trading bank, mortgage land, levy, debt instruments, to seize it, to defray the costs of the consequences of causing fraud and corruption on his land and the rest of the land in New Zealand. That's one complete offence. And I'm treating this as many of the affidavits I've got, including videos that I'm making with statements on it and accusations on it of people, real or otherwise, alien or legal people or natural people, as being criminal, acting fraudulently on our lands. These are our lands, Shanna. Unless you have documents from somebody who has other documents that says it's theirs. At the present time, the Crown is an entity the same as we are the Crown. I notice, for the record, these are going on to Shanna. What I'm saying is my truth. Nothing but the truth, so help me God. It is true. What I say in statements, please take these seriously as being chargeable instruments. I've noticed that in the latest Wikipedia that the Crown ownership of countries New Zealand is missing off as one of the Crown-owned entities. That makes me come to the conclusion that we are the Crown. We are the Crown, Shannon, to say what we are saying about Maui Crown on his head. In Dunedin, that Maui statue is the Crown. Why, when Pākehā came here from Britain and from Australia, they went and picked one of those 
Moais from East Island, the one with the hat on his head. Why they put the one with the hat on the head over there than put the one with the chopped head off in Auckland? They can explain that for me. Why they demonised our titles and butchered them for their reasons of why they've got them there. You know, I'll tell you something, Shannon, and the people watching, it's the spirit that they've captured for themselves and their own financial investment interests using Admiralty shipping to transport it from one place to the other as manifest their authority to manifest what's on the land as prized possessions. Those prized possessions belong to the King, Shannon, and I want you to start proceedings to recover all of what the Queen owns, says she owns, seized back into the King's bench court and back to the people of the world. That's what I want you to start proceedings on, to claim back what belongs to us and the people. I'm here for the people. The meeting I had this morning <coughs> with Kaya from Ngāti Kahunungu, Hapus, Wararapa, was exactly that. Who is the crown? I said to him, we are the crown. We are the real crown of all that inheritance and title inside this flag. And it's up to him to claim it with his people, as all the people in his area. Okay, so that's just 66,000 people in their membership to absorb what belongs to the native and the people, their manihiri, or visitors settled people, if they are settled. If they're not settled, they have a problem with John Kay. They're not happy with what they're getting or how they're being treated. So that's some of the issues for the record. Uh, Shannon, I left your message. I will wait for you to ring and I hope you ring in a minute or any time now so I can make this quite clear that you are there for us and the people. And it'll be good business to have the courts to um, understand what I'm saying here is very serious. I'm a serious person and what I say goes. I just want to make sure that what I say in this affidavit is that me as John Wanoa, natural person, swear to Almighty God that I'll tell the truth in everything I say on this video, and everything I've said on other videos, and everything I've written on every other document, is the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. It's all true, and it's for you people to rebut or to challenge anything I say, let it be the truth prevails. And it's law. Everything I say is law, if it's unchallenged. Shannon, so I want you, due diligence, and your job, to approach the people I'm accusing, such as Natalie Flower Dew Brown, CIB detective, that if she does not respond to me in the court or otherwise, through your negotiation with the judge and her, to respond and rebut everything I'm saying that's on Facebook, then she will lose the case <coughs> and make everyone in the police force liable. The whole 13 to 15,000 police liable. With a trillion pounds on each one's head, there's already got that on Aaron Pasco, detective, CIB. His head has got a bounty on it and also Tim Duffy, Detective CIB, same people doing the same mischief with the law. They are breaking the law and that's been evidence in a lot of police who are being hired that are not fit for the job. I'm saying that some of the police, not all, but some of the police are breaking the law just to get power over us, the landowners, to protect their private 
business interests, which is covered with fraud. And John Key, you have to answer to me that you're not a fraud because I'm accusing you online in front of people with the social media and Facebook and YouTube, Google, Twitter, that you are a fraudster. You're not reacting to anything I accuse you of. It's the truth if you can't answer it. So that'll be a case, um, so your name is in the High Court of Admiralty in London with Judge David Lindsay Naki and my lawyer, QC, uh, Utai Choi, signed it, right? It's signed with a document with your photos on it. And that sticks. It's stuck there for life because it's our law, it's our business. You're in a defaulted situation, John Key. You can't get out of it. Because we are the ground law here, I'm talking like this. Okay, so I swear to my kings, like I did on the other video, I swear to King William IV and King Ernest Augustus V. He's the reigning King of Britain, UK, that we swear our oath to, I swear our oath to, on behalf of my chiefs. And on behalf of anybody else who are members in our organisation, the Moai Crown King William Trust. Okay, we're allowed to talk trust and add multi court martial law. Anybody else using the court martial law, such as Obama, is going to get the bill too. All those people acting for the Queen. The Queen is mischievous in purporting to act as a Queen when she's got her business in EU Parliament with the Jesuits. So that's another matter of who the Crown is and who and what the Crown is doing to forge its way, forgery its way, with illegal documents for the Crown operations. So that's what I wanted to add on to where we are today, and just to put for the record the call I'm making and trying to communicate with my barrister, and the office said that it's best if I talk direct with him. So I have to wait for him to call me or just go into the office. Uh, it's unfortunate that I have to ring the police up every time I go into the city because they ban me from going anywhere near the place. So that's, that's damaging my ship of Admiralty here and me and my chiefs up north. They are there backing up my court hearing from that Marae High Authority, uh, Shannon. So um, I, I want you to make sure that I recover that property right now. I want you to get the writ ready from the judge, please. Ask him for a writ from the court for me to seize my land back. Don't worry about anything else, just the land. I can deal with Natalie Flower Dew Brown in our other courts. Um, and when necessary to do that. But in the meantime, my business is to recover that land and make them pay for injuring my natural person and my legal person, corporate legal person. Okay, so that's that's basically this video for you um, to um, carry out my instructions to recover the land with me and also to recover Waitangi Treaty Grounds and Titi Treaty Grounds, Titi Marae Land Blocks. Kingi Tauro is there with me at any stage we have a meeting for him uh, to attend with you uh, in any point in time uh, to verify my position of authority with him and also at his land rights. We're proceeding to seize the ship of Admiralty with our flag flying on in Waitangi Treaty Grounds and to continue business with it where it is at the present time till we organise the courts.
I'm hoping that you can start proceedings under these instructions publicly to open the King's Bench Court with me so that we can carry on the business inside that court. I shall organise a judge from Britain to come straight in there so that it is a real King's Bench Court or some retired judge that's in Auckland to step in and take up that position in that court to adjudicate these cases from this authority in the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. Now Shannon, if I want any court hearings of a serious nature, I can go back into that Marae and adjudicate it with the chiefs any time that is necessary. But I think it's best for you to keep the profession in its place as lawyers do lawyers' jobs and barristers do barristers' jobs and nobody else. I want to keep that profile and status as if it was the King's Bench Court always been operating and not silent anymore. It is a silent King's Bench Court in those courts and I want to open it up for business. I think that's all for now, for that part of uh, things, um, and I'll, I will get on with our day-to-day -day business, but I just wanted to say for the people watching that we are preparing to go on to the heading A 12 block and to draw up plans for um, research station there, um, and also for, um, um, for the marine projects and the Maui Tidal Energy projects in the sea and on the Ranfurly Bank. I'm saying those things because we're going under the authority of this land and Waitangi Marae and British government. I'm hoping to go to Britain as the ambassador of this country. I have a right to say that and to do that on behalf of the natives here and our title. If anyone in the government here, including the Governor-General, can produce a title higher than what I'm holding right here, then he should put it in front of me. Otherwise, King Itaurua, Chief, wants him out of the road. He does not want him because he has already done enough damage with his land in Waitangi, right in front of him, selling his lands off without his consent or knowledge, not disclosed. That's what I'm saying. The chief is not happy. He has left me to do this job for him and the other chiefs to put the records right. I'll make that clear, Shannon, that we are taking our country back. We are allowing the government to operate on a limited basis direct from Britain. For those who are watching this video, in British government, politicians, and the High Court of Admiralty in London, the High Court itself, the Supreme Court, this is your business here in the Pacific Islands. All that expanse mass land under the sea is our business, not anybody else's. That is our title, Doctrines of Discovery title. Okay, so for America, you are abhorrent and you are offensive people to think that you can run right over the Pacific and take it over under the Queen's Admiralty. You're playing in the Sea of Admiralty, which is King William IV, King of the Sea title. She has no right to usurp our contract as a third party anymore with her Treaty of Waitangi, 1840 Treaty, illegal, corrupted title document against our 1835 Declaration of Independence, Admiralty, Flag, Sovereign, Authority, Bank, Trading, Flag, Jurisdiction, Constitution, 1835. There. She has no right to any of the Admiralty law anymore. 
the Pope has destroyed her admiralty use of martial law in America. That's what I'm saying here, Shannon. You have to transition that in this courts because you can see the mistakes being made are serious mistakes and we're not going to settle for less to comp compensate in your court system for something less than what we're getting from treaty claims for those people who are signing up your contracts. They are illegal. I'm stating here on this video that all the treaty settlement claims here are illegal. I'm holding Chris Funston, Attorney General, liable. Chris Tonneson, you know me, you've always ignored me and everything I'm saying, and King Taro Chief is saying the same thing about you. He'd not be happy with you too, violating his lands and his marae in Waitaki for your own private interests against the interests of that marae's legal owners. Okay? So I'm here acting as the advocate, as if I'm the lawyer for them. In fact, I know just as much about land. We protect our interests in it against anyone's interests stacked up on top of the land. is now forfeited. Everything on top of the land, including buildings, property, assets, are now forfeited or confiscated back as a consequence of your crook. Okay, so that's that's what I want to say. The last thing I want to say is this. For the people watching, I've been saying about this, here are the batteries for the drone. I'm waiting for my drone. It's coming in the mail. It should be here soon. The batteries arrived. I'm just playing with them. And there's one battery in the charger. The five of them go in the charger and it plugs into the computer. Right, so I'm going to be photographing the heading of A12 block where we've got a lease on it for five years plus and we're going to develop it for the shareholder owners. I'm one of them. I'm not, it's not my, all of it, but we're going to make use of that block of land modeled out to other ones. Now, I'm not going in. Uh, it's quite welcome to watch this model of how we propose to develop land. It's a new concept of how we do it, and I won't say anything about that much for now. It'll be online to show the government how we do things for everyone, not just for themselves. The elite have got away with too much. So that's my, my little good luck story today. I've waited a long time for this. I was hoping to get it because I'm going to use the drone for a bit of fishing. And Tamati Reed, get your heart out. I'll be down the coast, but I won't be coming to Rangituki. I'll be going to Port Awanui and start our projects off with this little beauty. Okay, each of these is 10 minutes uh, flight time. 10 to 15 minutes flight time and about an hour to charge the five of them up at the same time. So we've got one in the drone and that's one for 10 minutes flight time. Okay, so it'll be a busy little bee flying around and taking photos, aerial photos of the land. So when we do that, we section off the land to see what goes on it and do our own research and geographical um, testing on the land itself because of erosion and other things that needs to be fixed uh, in the same time as setting up housing and roads and things. So that's all I want to say with this video. Um, uh, apart from um, Napui, uh, we're getting there. The chiefs will be quite anxious to see why it's taking so long. Uh, for me to do things is because the police are holding things up. And I don't know if the barrister is holding me up. I, I'm, I, I don't really know. All I'm saying is it's taken from January till right till now to get the court case finished. I want it 
wrapped up. I want the land back, Shannon. And I want to get on with the business and lock those two landowners and their convincing lawyers up for the fraud inside that title. It's mixed up in the bank fraud loans and mortgages and tax havens, uh, Panama. I want that investigated. I'll, I'll have that investigated through the British government and military to be here on my land blocks at Rangitopia. The B7 block. Aho B7 block. I want them to come straight in there. You know, open that land up straight to come in there and develop it for those shareholders in there. I'll have a meeting because I've had it out with Mano Raro. A bit of difficulty with him. He's a stubborn old man and his sister is holding the whole rest of the whānau up, up on that land block doing nothing. Right? This is to those people watching this video in Rangitukia that I'm there to develop that land for the people and to fix up that river and build the government, John Key's government, for the damage to that Waiapu River and all the erosion on that land and every other land. They have caused that for, by not doing anything and taking the money out and just leaving things to direct. Right? So those are all hapu related matters and the local people in the area to put their hapus back together, patch them back together from being split up to hell by the government and the colonial forces and also their management systems. We're going to make ourselves great again and self-govern ourselves under our own authority. That's the point of the exercise and to get ahead and catch up quick uh, with the rest of the trading world and to try to help from John Key and his elite people from wrecking this country and bringing guns into it. There are no guns running around this place where it's forbidden for the American um, military to come here and start exercising their New World Order laws. Now, there's a big ban on that now. I'm saying this to the British military and the British government that we are authorising as of right to title under King William the Fourth Admiralty to instruct and to order the Pope and his bludgeoning law, New World Order, off the land. The Commonwealth countries off the land. They are not to come onto those lands I'm saying right now from the Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. Okay, that's as much as equal power as the High Court in London. And that's what I'm saying. We're, we're partners in this business, this trading business. You need us in Britain to go around 250 countries with this flag and take Britain right around. And you need to come here to protect the whole Pacific Ocean from the Queen and her marauding family of thugs inside the EU Parliament, the United Nations, NATO and the Vatican Church, Catholic Church and Church of England. Okay, that's what I'm saying. There is a movement inside there that's evil and killing people in the world off their lands, displacing people off their lands and making them refugees in another land without Respect for those people, the ind indigenous people of the world, this is your flag. I'm here for the indigenous mothers of the world and the indigenous chiefs of the world to come together under the British flag here and their British flag and this flag and to put your trust and faith in us to pull us back together, back on your lands. You have to go back on your lands and claim your lands. Even though I'm supporting Trump because he's a businessman, nevertheless it needs a thorough investigation of why the country is going to hell with Hillary Clinton, another white person. I'm not particularly saying they're the white mob gang, because really they are, that's wrecking the country for everyone, including the back 
black American native people themselves by putting other cultures in there from Islam to make it look like they own America when they don't show any title to the place. The Pope is coming in with a law to wipe their titles out. No, that's alien and the Pope is no good. That's not acceptable. That is not acceptable from us being partner inside the British government. So that's all I want to say for now in this video. Today is um, Monday, <coughs> the 11th of Ju July 2016, and we'll see you again. Uh, and um, leave it there. I was hoping that Shannon would ring me while I was on this video. Uh, but um, obviously he's not calling me yet. He would have got his email by now from the office and um, um, let me know what's going on. I have a right to know what is happening with my case because, like I say, the bond that I sign, the bail bond to be released from prison, is more blackmail that I'm saying to him, my barrister, um, what is happening with that bond that I signed that's countersigned by someone claiming to be my trustee. I've never said anyone could do that with whatever inheritance there is. That's what I'm claiming, that inheritance of whatever money and whatever fashion that money is looking somewhere that everybody else in the world is being screwed the same way from their birth certificate and their identity as identity theft. There's a number of criminal activities happening here in my case. I'm here as a victim of fraud and corruption of a law system inside the Crown Corporation's private businesses on our lands and me being native is worse still. For the sake of the British government, this is not supposed to happen to a native partner in this flag 